So I was totally going for like a Betty Boop moment, like channeling my inner Betty Boop with my eye look today, and I clearly completely failed. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin Slice of Life and I am Jennifer. Just kidding. My name is Caitlin. It's good to see you for those of you that are returning viewers and it is good to have you for those of you who are new. And also I am super, super, super excited. Like how many times can you say the word super in one video? Quite a few. I am really excited today because today I am launching my very first giveaway on my channel. So welcome, hello, and I'm going to put all the giveaway information at the end of the video, but first we're going to actually talk about something that is almost as exciting as a giveaway. Like, I actually think it's as exciting as a giveaway, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, <laughs> the box did come to me, so maybe you won't share the same enthusiasm that I do. I'm rambling, I'm moving on now. So today we are doing or unboxing or going over, as you may have ascertained by reading the title, the brand new Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate. Ipsy is going through some rebranding, clearly. You can tell by the color of the box. It is more like a salmon-y pink than the traditional hot pink, which is here, and a different logo. So they're going through some rebranding. They're growing, they're changing, and they're actually revamping their subscription service a little bit. So these are the changes that you will see going forward. It used to be that it started out with just the Ipsy Glam Bag where you would spend $10 a month and get four or five sample size products to try and usually there was a full size item in there as well. That was $10 a month. It has now mo moved up to $12 a month. Then they launched the Glam Bag Plus, which was comparable to BoxyCharm, $25 a month with four to five full-size items inside. And I had subscribed to both. I had Ipsy Glam Bags and Ipsy Glam Bag Pluses. If you go back to some of my Ipsy unboxings, you will see them both done side by side in tandem. So then they decided, well, let's just, you know, really blow it out of the water and release the Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate. And in the Glam Bag Ultimate, you are getting 12 full-size items with a $250 plus value uh, added to it, and it is $50 a month. So I canceled the Glam Bag Plus and the Glam Bag and switched straight to the Ultimate because I want the Ultimate Ipsy experience coming to my door every single month. I'm sick like that. So moving into the box, I will say that they had some issues when they were putting my box together and I will share them with you. But they're going to benefit you, so I'm not super stressed out about it. But the first item that I reached in and pulled out of the box is this makeup bag. So I guess just because you're not getting the Ipsy Glam bag anymore, they're still going to put the Glam bag, the makeup bag that would have come with your $12 subscription service, in with your Ultimate box. So I have a little like, stringy stringy I gotta cut off he's kind of driving me crazy but if you hadn't guessed by the Betty Boop remark at the beginning of the video Ipsy collabed with Betty Boop and came out with a cute little Betty Boop collection so here she is with her cute little heels doing her little bee like back kick thing that she does that I could never do and look cute doing and of course the little heart zipper and then all the sequins in the back so my mom's already laid claim to this bag she said she wanted it I'm like sure you can have it no big deal I'm, I would have honestly just given it away. It's just not something I would have used. I never watched Betty Boop as a child, but I always kind of loved her style. Like, she's kind of sassy and sweet. I like her. Another thing that came in the box this month is two sheet masks. So, sheet masks are not my favorite. If you've been around for a while, if you're a returning viewer, you will know I'm not a huge fan of sheet masks. I just don't care for them. I don't like putting something cold and wet on my face. It's just not the pampering moment that I would like to have for me. It is a me personal thing. So I will be putting these into the giveaway for you guys. However, I will give you this little tip if you have not heard me say this before. One of the best ways to use a sheet mask that I have found for me is I will actually let them float around in the warm like bath water or put them in a sink 
stopped with hot water and let them sit in there for five or ten minutes and they're going to warm and then that way when you take them out of the package and you lay them on your face they're warm they're soothing and you're not going like oh my gosh I'm putting cold something on my face my biggest issue with sheet masks is I have a mean girls flashback moment with Damien laying the ham on his face going oh, 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 whatever it is he's doing in the movie I don't want to put the movie clip in here because <laughs> I don't want it I don't want to cause issues but that's like truly what I uh, in picture every single time I see that um, you know I do a sheet mask as I picture Damien with his ham on his face at lunch so I'm sure most of you know what I'm talking about, the, but the brand that put these out is the same and there's two different ones. There's a natural shea butter sheet mask and a natural avocado sheet mask. So they seem very nice. The packaging feels really, really nice. It feels like a lot of like um, liquid in there, so they're good and saturated. So I think whoever gets these is going to be really happy. Another item that I got is actually an item I'm going to keep, and this is by the brand Pharmacy, and this is the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Now, this is a product that I have received before. This came in BoxyCharm, and it was actually a smaller container than what is in here. And on the packaging, it said, specifically formulated for BoxyCharm, which was basically the cheap way of, like giving a smaller container. Sorry, BoxyCharm, it, it, that's what you did. So I am totally in love with this formula. Uh, this is actually my favorite formula of all the cleansing bombs that I've tried, but I have been using the one by Physicians Formula, which is also green and lime scented, just like this one, but just not quite as heavily scented. So if you have fragrance issues, you may like the Physicians Formula better. I feel like this one washes away just a little bit clearer, like cleaner than the Physician's Formula one does. I feel like the Physician's Formula one leaves a little bit more of a residue than this one. I double cleanse anyway, so that's not a deal breaker for me, but if you're not a double cleanse kind of person, you might prefer this one, but of course you're gonna pay a lot more for this one. Another thing that we got this month in the box is a Farrah Brushes brush set. And we actually got something from this collection before a few weeks ago or a few months ago maybe it was even last month I think it might have been last month but it's these really really nice hand um, brushes from Farrah has the ergonomic handle has the navy blue shift in the top of the brush I don't know if it's picking up on camera I think it did last time I was worried about that last time but there's three of them in this kit and according to my handy dandy cheat sheet which I was looking at earlier um, this has the foundation brush, the cheek brush, and a stipple brush, and this is a contour brush. Because I was looking at them and I was like, wow, these look awfully similar, but they're in like a little plastic protective slip-on thing so that the brush keeps its shape. So it's hard to really tell. So it is different brushes, but I'm still going to put this into the giveaway because I have so many brushes, like so many brushes. So I'm going to put this in the giveaway for you guys because I know you will love Farrah brushes just as much as I do. And I love this brush. I use it all the time. And another thing that came in the box is a serum by the brand BioRace. And funny story, I already recorded this video once. I recorded this yesterday, the day that I got this box. And I looked like a train wreck. And I'm, I, it was bad. It was just so bad. So I scrapped the whole thing. <laughs> we gotta redo it so when I was originally describing this product to you guys the original time that I filmed I couldn't pronounce it then this is the low hydrating treatment serum and it's funny because in the brochure it's in English on the bottle it's in French but this brand is made in Korea I don't know but apparently this is just a very intensive hydrating uh, serum and it has some niacinamide in there, some hyaluronic acid, other great ingredients. I am going to keep this for me, but I just wanted to show it to you. I get very dry in the winter, so I'm really excited to have got this today. Something I am going to pass along to you is by the brand Kaleido Cosmetics, and this is the Obsidian Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Now, typically, I do not use a lot of liquid eyeliners. I am sure that this is fantastic, but this is, again, just something that I'm not going to use, so I would rather pass this on to you guys in a giveaway form. So you're gonna benefit from that. So I'm gonna give that on to you guys. This cheat sheet thing has me confused because there are things on here that I got that I that did not come in my box. So is this a generic thing? 
I don't know. But apparently I'm supposed to have a Makeup Geek highlighter in here. I'm also supposed to have a Lemon Verbena clay mask from a brand called iBomb. And I'm supposed to have an Annette Lepore Beautiful Times fragrance. Those three items are not in here. However, what did come in here were doubles of two products. I got doubles of the Huda Beauty, the Warm Brown Obsessions Mini Palette, and I got two of the Say Moi Reflect Lip Gloss in the shade Opulence. 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 So this is a product I chose. I actually chose this for you guys because I wanted you to have this palette and I knew I was going to be putting together my first giveaway. So when it asked me which product I wanted, I actually chose this and I'm going to open it and show it to you very carefully. But look at this color scheme. Does this not scream fall? Oh my God. And no, it's not on my eyes right now. This is actually the Violet Voss palette that I'm doing a seven day, seven looks video for you coming next week. But um, it's very similar like you can get a very similar look so watch out for that video make sure you subscribe because you will be able to see how I got this and you could mimic that if you were to win this palette I love Huda Beauty I love a lot of their products I actually have the Marvelous Mobs mini palette so I will show you or the I'm sorry the Mob Obsessions mini palette and this is what it looks like and it's well loved you can see it's a little dirty but i love this guy it's super cute and it gets excellent color payoffs so i was really excited to be able to snag this for you but they sent me two so what does that mean we're gonna do two giveaways Yay! Why not, right? and we're rolling into the season of giving after we put away the pumpkins and put away the vampy eye makeup, moving into the season of giving. Isn't that exciting? So as I was saying, I got two of the same Moi lip glosses, both in the shade Opulence. And I'm gonna try to open this without ruining the bottle because I'm going to actually give both of these away to you guys because I do not need them, but it is this a very pretty, I am assuming it goes on sheer lip gloss with like a silver tint to it. Very, very pretty. I'm sure that it will be beautiful for the entire winter season. So you can do some really nice frosty lips. With little frosty, frosty lips. Okay, another item that I got in the box this month is by Cela, and this is a creme de la creme, the very best cream. I don't know who comes with this stuff. I don't know. Um, it's a from seed to skin luxurious body cream formulated with Canadian botanicals. Um, Upaqua, Upaqua butter, Abyssinian oil to richly moisturize, refreshing orange and grapefruit essential oils leave skin decadently scented. So I'm going to keep this because we're rolling into dry, dry skin month or dry skin season, not just month, season. And I'm actually really interested to try this. I really love the bottle, like as kind of dumb as that sounds because it's just a little sample size too, but it's the very like almost um, foily, like does that make sense? I don't know, but it looks good. Another item that I got that I'm going to pass on to you is from Color Rain, and it is an eyeshadow single in the shade Champagne Life. And I really wanted to keep this because I am, never have tried Color Rain, and I've always wanted to try their items, but I just couldn't justify, here it is. I know I'm holding it weird, but the light glares and you won't be able to see it. I wasn't able to justify keeping it because I have so many shades like this, and I knew it was just gonna sit in my drawer and go to waste and I really don't want to do that with makeup I really would rather give it away to you you know my fellow subscriber my family like of subscribers and you know make you guys happy and show you my appreciation because the whole point of having a channel is to be able to try all this makeup and to be able to talk about it because I love it so much but I don't want to hoard it I want it to actually go to homes and be loved so love him for me okay another item I got that I'm going to keep is actually from a brand called Unicorn Glow, and this is a long wear primer, and it's basically a moisturizing primer. And they also stuck a sample in here from the brand Papa Recipe, and this is the Eggplant Mud Cream Mask. I'm actually going to throw this in the giveaway. I know it's a sample size, but I have enough masks and things I need to get through, so I'm going to go ahead and just pass this on to you guys. Okay. Lastly, in the box is the collab, hence the Betty Boop Talk and the Betty Boop Bag. So you know a couple months back, Ipsy collaborated with Tetris and I did a whole video on that and I did a palette 
demo and you can I'll link it in the below and you can see it if you want to but I was supposed to get this cheek palette this is a three pan cheek palette and it has the shades you're a peach all dolled up and heartbreaker in it and this is what it looks like on the inside and this is my jam like these are my colors I am so here for this like I love it uh, but here it is I think this packaging is super super sweet there's Betty doing her little kicky thing she does and you know it's just super cute and I am really excited to get into this this is what I was supposed to receive in my box and so here it is so Ipsy has add-on items that you can do for $12 or $3. So I went ahead and added on the eyeshadow palette. So this is the Ipsy Betty Boop eyeshadow palette called That So Betty eyeshadow palette. And these are the shades here. And when I opened it, I was a little underwhelmed. Not gonna lie, I was a little underwhelmed. I feel like this is very cool tone. Uh, and this just does not read Betty Boop to me. Does this look like Betty Boop to you guys? Like, Betty Boop is like red and black and, you know, I'd imagine gold and bold and, you know, I don't know. This just looks very strange. Very, very strange. I swatched a few of the shades. I think they were going to perform just fine. I just don't know if we got from here to there. So I'm actually going to have to go watch some Betty Boop videos and maybe see if I'm missing something like missing the theme I don't know I have to go back and look at it again but a video is coming with the palette so I thought I would be smart and order the cheek color as well but it's the same color that already came in my quad it is the all dolled up color which is right here I would hold on to something for more than two seconds it's actually the center color here so I'm going to go ahead and just throw this in the giveaway for somebody to use because I don't need two pans of the exact same blush so that is everything that came in my glam bag ultimate box like I said I'm missing items I got doubles of items I'm going to be contacting the company because I feel like it's the right thing to do not that I expect them to send me the missing items because they've already sent me stuff However, if they want those items back and they want to send me other things, I don't know what they're going to want to do. I feel like it's just the right thing to do to contact them and just say, hey, I got doubles of these two items. Didn't get these three items. I'm okay if you're okay, but I feel like I should just say something. It's like finding an envelope of money in a Walmart parking lot. Like you should give that to customer service because it's not yours. Like that's kind of how I feel about it. Even though I know they're probably gonna tell me to keep it because it's makeup and it's come to my house and I could be like creepy weird and licking the eyeshadow pans before I send it back to them. Uh, which I would never do that. But you know what I'm saying? Like it could be, it could be, you know, some, a weird thing. So I'm sure they're just gonna tell me to hang on to them. Um, but I will be emailing them just to let them know. So. Ultimately, what are your thoughts on the first Glam Bag Ultimate? There were no prices in the little booklet, so that's kind of a Debbie Downer. Like, I really need to uh, figure out how much my bag is worth, and I'm going to actually have had prices going at the bottom. That's why I wasn't saying them as I was going along here, because I have no idea. I, I don't know. I have no idea. So I will be adding it all up and putting a little graphic here for you, probably right here or down here or somewhere. It's going to be on this page somewhere. Now let's talk about the giveaway. So the giveaway I have decided to run because I have actually accumulated more makeup for you guys than I thought. I've been scrolling away things here and there. So I've decided that we are going to not do, not one, not two, but three giveaways. Three! Because this is my favorite time of year. October, November, December are some of my favorite times of year. I love to give, I love to give presents. So we are going to be doing one giveaway per month between now and Christmas. The first giveaway is going to run starting October 12th through October 31st. And you will find that this is the video you need to watch because obviously this is the one where I'm announcing the giveaway. I'm going to put a little overlay of the prize here so you can see exactly what it is you'll be winning. And entering is very simple. All you need to do is be subscribed. You need to like this video and comment below. The other thing that you do need to leave for me though somewhere is either your email or your IG handle. If you do not have Instagram and you would like to leave me your email, that will work as long as there's some way that I would be able to contact you. And also, I would like to keep this giveaway between United States, Canada, and Mexico. I don't want to go beyond that only because of shipping and I don't even know what that entails. I will try to research it before the November one. So for the October giveaway, for the items that you've seen here on the screen, that's what I'm going to be giving away. 
gift the giveaway starts today and runs through October 31st to so November 1st I will be in contact with the lucky winner and then starting immediately in November I will be putting a video up on my channel I don't know what it's gonna be I have no idea which one I'm gonna add it on to so you got to be subscribed and you probably should ring that notification bell that way you get that notification that I've uploaded a video you will know that that's the video you need to comment on and we will run it for the entire month and then we will do the same again in December we'll have a video at the very beginning of the month with the third giveaway and so on so three months of giving make sure you're subscribed comment below say hi introduce yourself share this video with a friend share 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 let's share the love somebody else subscribe that way they can be part of the uh, contest too so I wish you all the best of luck and every time I think about wishing somebody luck, I always want to say that whole line that Effie Trinket says in The Hunger Games, which I won't say because of copyright strikes. But you know which one I'm talking about. About the odds maybe being in our favor. How is that for Koi? <laughs> I don't do Koi well. <laughs> Anyways, subscribe, like, share, talk. Hi, say hi down below. Good luck. I hope that you all have an amazing day. Thanks for sticking out with me. I know I'm a little scattered today. I don't script my videos and you can totally tell. Today. Hope you all have a good day. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.